Let's continue with more advanced effects editing. Remember, Studio has powerful tools that allow you to add corrections and effects to audio clips, video clips, and photos. Remember, this is a brief overview of some complex editing techniques. These and other advanced concepts are discussed in greater detail in Complete Training for Studio, which can be purchased from the web store. As we learned in the previous chapter, if you double-click a clip in the library, you'll have access to corrections. If corrections are applied to a clip in the library, then the clip will now be corrected for use in any project moving forward. You can always edit or remove the correction if you don't like it once it's in a project. All corrections and effects are non-destructive. Let's look at the workflow for a classic photo pan and zoom effect used in many documentaries and movies where you'd like to give movement to a static image. It's simple and powerful. Let's get started. Drop a photo on the timeline. Double click on it. When the media editor opens, click the pan and zoom tab. Select animated. You'll notice there's a default animation applied to your photo. There are two wireframes. The green wireframe represents the area of the photo that is seen when the animation begins. The red wireframe represents the area of the photo that is seen when the animation ends. There's a preview window in the upper left part of the media editor window. If you press play or scrub the play bar, you'll see the current animation in the preview window. In the attributes area, you'll have additional controls as well as preset animations. These presets can be used as they are, or you can modify them to customize your animation. Let's modify the default animation. With your play bar at the home position, Let's grab the green wireframe, change the size and position. When you make it smaller, it has the effect of zooming into your photo. The preview window displays your changes in real time. You now have updated the way the animation will start. If you look just below the timeline ruler, you'll see this marker. It's called a keyframe. A keyframe is a marker on the timeline that holds information about the effect. Let's move the play bar halfway to the right. As you are scrubbing through the timeline, notice the white wireframe represents your current position. And as you scrub, it shows the traveling path. Click the Add Keyframe button. Now move the white window to a new location and resize it. You will see that we're panning and zooming differently now as we have added and modified the existing keyframes. Let's move the play bar to the end. The original keyframe is still there, so let's modify this one as well by changing the size and location of the red wireframe. That's all there is to it. Simply press OK to accept these changes, and you'll be sent back to the timeline with your new pan and zoom effect applied to the photo. Now let's modify a video clip to change its mood. Drop a video on the timeline. Double click on it. When the media editor opens, select Correction. Let's modify this video clip by selecting Enhance. This is where you can modify the color, luminance, and gamma values of the video. Let's make this look a little more edgy like a crime drama. So we'll make the color pop a little and make the darks darker. Let's bring up the contrast and saturation. And then do some secondary correction with selective brightness. Lower the fill light to deepen the shadows and lower the whites. This is much more sinister looking. As with any tool in Studio, you can turn on 
or often overall effect or a single attribute by clicking the orange enable disable button for before and after comparisons. Remember, you can also find loads of color effects under the effects tab. When finished, click OK. If you have a premium version of Studio, the noise reduction filter helps you to reduce or eliminate unwanted background noise. It needs to be dynamically adjusted to varying amounts of noise within the material and can be applied for a range of problems. In many cases, the results can be optimized through targeted use of the level and fine tuning parameters. Let's have a look at one example. An outdoor recording with the subject too far from the microphone, which leads to excess background noises such as camera operating noise or wind. It may be enough to obscure sounds of interest such as the subject's voices. But it helps to experiment with the noise reduction level until the best possible result for the source material has been achieved. And fine tuning helps you control the amount of the correction. Check the Remove Wind checkbox to activate a filter that is designed for targeted reduction of wind and similar noises. You can also choose Auto Adapt. While this option is active, noise reduction automatically and dynamically adapts to the type and intensity of noise in the material. As with any effects creation, there are unlimited possibilities. With Studio, you now have the power to create your own unique look and style and fine-tune audio and video to its best. Hello, I'm Paul Holtz from Class On Demand. This introductory chapter gave you a quick look at the creative power and flexibility of Pinnacle Studio 16. If you'd like to learn more about creating your movies with award-winning Pinnacle technology trusted by millions of users worldwide, then order your copy of Class on Demand's complete training for Pinnacle Studio 16 on the Pinnacle website. On behalf of Pinnacle and Class on Demand, thanks for watching.